And now I'm going to talk about the second thing of Spark Color, uh, which is the color editor. Just like in the Igniter R5 release, uh, where there's a mode by holding the aux button and pulling out the kill key, you can edit the colors for each font. Uh, with Spark Color, when you hold the aux button and pull out the kill key, you'll be able to edit each individual color set, uh, which aren't really, really related to the fonts in any way. Uh, so let's look at that. So there is the color editors booted. So we can push the aux to go to any color set. One, two. So let's edit the second color set. And you can use the swings to get to the different colors. So let's say we want to make this clash is too green. So let's make it less green. We can hold the aux. Now it'll decrease. Uh, and I'm not sure how well the not sure how well the camera picks it up, but the blade is way more orange now. Uh, so we're going to just save that by holding in the main button. And now when we reboot the saber, uh, that new color will be ready to use. And this is awesome because not only can you adjust the colors like this, but you can completely change the colors. So let's let's change this blaster block to like some completely different color purple. So let's add, start adding some blue here. So that's good. Now we have a completely separate color. It's kind of bluish. Um, and let's save that. Now, when rebooting the saber, our new color sets will be loaded. So there's a second color set. And you can see the new, in the new colors. And let's go to the third color set. And there's our purple. 